What's up everybody, this is Joshua Casper and this is going to be a hopefully quick tutorial on how to set up a subdomain on your main domain and I'm going to be using Namecheap, that's where my domain is hosted and I'm going to be using Hostgator, that's where my website uh, FTP servers is hosted. So I'm going to show you the steps it takes to go ahead and set up uh, everything. So the first thing we need to do inside of Hostgator is add a subdomain. Okay, so here we are. I'm going to add a subdomain to my main website, joshuacasper.com, but if you have other websites, you can obviously add them to those. And I am going to add the subdomain Brazil with an S because I'm going to be making a uh, Brazilian Portuguese tutorial website. And just hit uh, click anywhere outside of there, and it's going to automatically generate a document root folder for you. That's great. And just hit create. And it's going to say brazil.joshuacasper.com has been created and say go back. And now we have a subdomain. The first thing we can do now to make sure everything kind of goes smoothly is go over to Namecheap and type in, uh, I went to manage domains, modify domain, the joshuacasper.com domain. And I'm going to come in and just type Brazil here. And I'm just going to copy the IP address that you should already have linked up. And I'm going to change it to an A address. And I'm going to change it to 1800. All right. And that should do it. I'm going to go ahead and save changes. And there you go. So this usually takes a couple minutes. So I like to do that before I go ahead and in, uh, install WordPress. And that way everything is already cooking in the background. You know what I mean? So then I come back into HostGator and I click the home button. And something new for 2014 is you used to use uh, something called Fantastico Deluxe to install WordPress, but they're not using this anymore. They're using Quick Install, which is, I mean, it's the same thing. It's just under a different name, essentially. Or at least for our, uh, for us, it's the same thing. I'm sure there's a lot in the background or whatever, but. So I'm going to click Quick Install. Cool, and now that I'm inside Quick Install, I'm going to come to uh, the WordPress. Obviously, you can choose any one of these, but I'm going to be using a WordPress website, so I'm going to check WordPress. Uh, it's going to install 4.0. I'm going to have to update later, but that's fine. I'm going to hit Continue. And I'm going to want to change on the dropdown here to my brazil.joshuacasper.com suite. And I'm going to put in an admin email, which is just going to be my regular email. I'm going to blur that out so you don't see it. Blog title, Brazil-Ableton. And uh, admin user, Joshua. First name, Joshua. Last name, Casper. And install now. And it says 100% congratulations. It's got my password and my username. And they're going to go ahead and email that to me so I can save that password just in case. And it says it's set up the Word admin area, WordPress admin area here. So if I click here, hopefully it's already happened. But if not, sometimes you have to wait a little bit. So let's see what's going on. Cool. And it's already going because I already went ahead and forwarded that subdomain to the right uh, IP address. So I'm already ready to log in. I just put my username and the password they gave me and I'm already cooking with WordPress. And that's how simple it is. Uh, um, I hope that helped you guys. We'll see you later.